Hello everyone, and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be talking about how I built my fume hood. Unfortunately, I never recorded any of the build, but it's not too complicated and I'll just talk about it now. The first thing to consider is size. This fume hood is 4 feet wide, and I find that's a good size for me. I wouldn't go for anything less than 3 feet because you're getting really cramped then. With this space, I have enough room to set up a distillation and still have room on the sides, and I can even fit my water pump inside the fume hood. The height is 36 inches. I would like to have it a little bit taller, but due to the height of the ceiling in here, that's as high as I could get it. The first part of the build was the main box here. It's made of 3 quarter inch thick wood. I'm not sure what kind exactly, but it had some kind of white coating which looked desirable in the store, so I got that. Four pieces. It's all screwed together at the corners. The next part was the back. A piece of quarter inch plywood makes up the baffle. And behind that is another box made of uh, half inch wood, which just gives it some space so there's room for the air to flow behind the baffle. The most complicated part was the front. There's a frame of wood, which fits the front of the box exactly. We routed a channel on the edge of the inside of the box, which gave enough room for this quarter inch plexiglass to fit in. I screwed in the top part, it's one solid piece that doesn't move. And then for the bottom half, um, we put spacers in here, plexiglass, so it's like a friction fit. It doesn't take too much uh, effort to move, but we made the thickness just right so this front part would fit in here, and then we screwed on wood over this to keep it in place. I bought an 18 inch LED light strip from Home Depot, which I, I drilled a hole through the top and sealed it after with a little, uh, I think it was duct sealant, and then the wires just go over the top down the back and there's a switch on that light but I don't turn it on I just have it plugged directly into a power strip down here which has everything for the fume hood I also got a very cheap power strip which also goes out through the top and down over the back uh, this will definitely get destroyed in time but I don't really care because it was really cheap the proper way to do it is to have the outlets outside of the fume hood the face velocity of a fume hood should be between 60 and 100 feet per minute. Um, for this size fume hood, I determined that I would need a fan that would draw around um, 460 cubic feet per minute, um, accounting for losses, of course, because it's not perfect. So I bought a 465 cubic feet per minute blower fan which is installed directly onto a basement window right there. And on the left side of it is a short length of ductwork which goes into the back behind the baffled top. You can kind of see part of it there. The door on the front actually will swing up. There are a few hinges up here. Um, but I don't find I need to use that very much because with the opening on this, it opens far enough that I can fit pretty much anything in. Um, the problem with that though is that I needed to put some kind of sealant on the side and I really never got around to it and upon testing I found that um, there was a little bit of leakage around here on the top on both sides um, so I just added some duct tape which stopped the leak. The total cost for this fume hood was around $210 uh, not including time of course I did a lot of looking around online and I couldn't find anything like this for remotely near this price. Like I said, I did some testing. I set off a huge smoke bomb in here. Um, and there was only a small amount of leakage, like I said, around the upper corners. But after adding the duct tape, that didn't happen anymore. Um, soon, if I get around to it, I'm going to drill a large number of holes along the top here at different heights. Um, because I find that with the air coming in through the bottom down here, there's a lot of swirling air currents up near the top, which um, 
take a little longer than they should to pull the air out. But other than that, it's fine. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you if you're looking to build your own fume hood. It was fun to do and it saved me a lot of money, so I'm very happy with it. And now I can do more dangerous experiments indoors.